everything to bring to a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. So obviously the first and most important thing you're going to want to bring is your Yu-Gi-Oh deck. As you guys can tell, I'm playing Vanquish Souls right now, actually trying to max out the rarity of the deck. But maybe even more importantly than that, you are going to want to bring a deck box. So I have been really enjoying these Ultimate Guard Sidewinder deck boxes. They're the 80 plus Xeno skin variety. They do have a few other sizes and colors, of course. But the reason I like these so much is because they are really easy to open and close. They just actually have these magnets. And the size is great because at a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, you really don't want to carry loads and loads and loads of stuff on you. So these fill that purpose really well because they can hold your main deck, side deck, and extra deck pretty comfortably, at least if you're running 40 cards and not anything else and that actually matters because at Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments you don't want to have any extemporaneous things inside your deck box at a regional or YCS event if you get called for a deck check and you've got anything inside your deck box that wasn't actually mentioned on your deck list form then you can end up in a lot of trouble so make sure that you keep only the necessary stuff inside of the deck box. Now, Sidewinders aren't the only kind of deck box that you could use. I've got a couple of others here. For example, here's one from Imperium Duelist. There aren't like finished decks inside of here, just cards. But yeah, I like these. They kind of work similarly to the Sidewinder, but they have this bottom compartment you could use to keep dice or tokens or something else inside. And I've also got this one from Gym Accessories. I like this color and it's got the really cool Graceful Charity art inside. I'm not as big a fan of these for larger tournaments though because all of the extra compartments mean that it's just kind of a larger product, but it does have a place for dice, it does have a place for extra cards, you could you know, use dividers and things like that really comfortably with this kind of deck box. So if you're interested in any of these, I'll have them linked in the description. The next and absolutely essential thing to bring to any Yu-Gi-Oh tournament is your official Konami card game player ID. This is actually a card that they issue you. You can get it at any OTS store or even regionals or YCS events if you're going for the first time. And it contains a code that is unique to you. And you'll use this code to enter into any Yu-Gi-Oh event, big or small. If it's an official sanctioned event, you use this and it keeps track of it. This is really useful for a lot of different reasons, keeping track of points, whether or not you qualified for worlds, you connect it to your Konami account. It's just all around a great thing to have and something that you'll want to keep on your person at all times. In fact, I like keeping mine inside of my Ridge wallet, which is the sponsor of today's video. So I've had this Ridge wallet for years now. I love the really small profile and sleek design. I like the really durable build of it. This thing has taken an absolute beating, but has not given out on me. It's the forged ember design, so it's got these really cool flakes, and I feel like that kind of gives it a little bit of character with the age. Now, they obviously have a bunch of different colors and varieties you can get on their website, but this is the one that has held strong for me for many years. You can hold up to 12 cards inside of it, and they just kind of flip out like this, right? I keep my Konami card game ID inside, as well as any other useful necessary cards. It also has a cash strap on the back, because you'll probably want to bring some cash to a Yu-Gi-Oh event if you're gonna be hitting up the vendors or even just for entry to a regional or a YCS. They also make other really cool accessories like these key cases. I like them because I can access my keys really easily and they don't make any noise when they jingle around. So right now, Ridge is actually celebrating its 11 year anniversary and they've got a bunch of new designs that you can check out on their website. In fact, if you use my link, ridge.com slash APS, the link is down in the description, you can get up to 30% off all of these different designs. You could, for instance, get a matching wallet and key case combo, which would be really, really cool. They even have leather wallets. So if you're not interested in kind of the metal design, then maybe this is a better texture for you. Either way, there's all sorts of options. So I've really loved my Ridge wallet for all these years. I think you guys will too. In fact, they have a 365 day guarantee if you don't like it. So yeah, definitely worth it. Check out ridge.com slash APS. And thanks again to Ridge for sponsoring today's video. So the next really important thing you'll wanna bring with you to any Yu-Gi-Oh tournament is extra packs of sleeves. You'll probably want to sleeve up your deck in new sleeves before a major event like a regional or a YCS. And having extra sleeves on your person is really important because if one of your sleeves gets damaged in some kind of way, you can quickly change them out with a new one and not get into any kind of trouble for marked cards. So I've got a few examples of sleeves here. You can get these Dragon Shield ones. I really like the dual mat sleeves. My favorite part about the dual mat sleeves is that they come in a bunch of different sort of colors, but the really cool part about these is that they keep this black inside interior despite having a colored back. That means that the card will not show through the back and that's really important when it comes to maybe having potentially marked cards or getting in trouble for that sort of thing. However, Dragon Shield sleeves can be a little bit on the pricey side, so if you want something that's just really good budget sort of value for money, then I definitely recommend Ultra Pro. While they're not as good as Dragon Shield, I think for the price they're really great. You can get both the matte variety and the non-matte variety. 
Basically that means, you know, having a frosted surface versus a really clear surface. And they come in a bunch of different colors as well. Also got to shout out my friend Tom Box. He's got his own custom sleeves, the Ulti Ego and Ulti Instinct sleeves. We've used these in a few videos on the channel. So if you have a favorite content creator and they make sleeves, this is obviously a really good option as well. One last note on sleeves is that you might want to double sleeve your deck. And so to do that, you'll use what are called outer sleeves. These are some matte clear ones that come from Dragon Shield. And basically you just put them on top of your regular sleeves and they better protect your cards. So the way you'll do this is pretty simple. You just put your card in a regular sleeve. I do them right side up and then you'll put the outer sleeve on top in the opposite direction. And once you do that, it's really easy and this protects your card a lot better. I don't usually double sleeve my entire main deck, but it's really good to do for your extra deck, especially if you have some really cool sleeves that you kind of want to keep in better condition. So the next important thing to bring to a Yu-Gi-Oh event is going to be a playmat. This is my personal favorite one. It's just a generic kind of blue link hexagon design. I just like it. It's kind of on branded. But the most important thing about a playmat these days is just to make sure that you have zones on it. Labeled zones come up so much in Yu-Gi-Oh! Columns matter, Imperm matters, so many just different things come up with that. And Konami makes like a bazillion different kinds. One of my other favorites is this Karibo playmat that they make, for instance. Now, you can use playmats like this, but since they don't have zones, I don't recommend it as much for really big, important events. If you do want to use one of these, it might be important to at least bring a field center card. You can get these at like sneak peek events, participation for regionals. They're all over the place. These are just useful for keeping track of basically the center of the extra monster zones. You can kind of feel out where the columns are from there. But I really do recommend just having the columns and zones and stuff marked instead. One other useful tidbit is having a mat tube. I really don't like to just kind of throw mats in my bag because that can really cause them to like crease and fold and just get damaged over time. So these come from Ultra Pro. They're slim, they're clear, and they've got these air compressed tops that sort of keep them together really easily. And they're pretty easy to slide into a bag. You don't have to use one, but again, I think that these are just great for keeping your mats in good condition. So something else that you'll want to have at a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament are plenty of dice. Well, not actually plenty of dice. It's good to just maybe have two. But these are useful for deciding who goes first and second. And also, if you actually play cards that use dice effects, then this would obviously come up a lot. I've been really liking these official Yu-Gi-Oh branded dice that they've been releasing lately in the Legendary Duelist and like Battles of Legend reprint sets. They've got a monster design on one side. Like this has Stratos, this has Salamangate Almirage. They're also just really cool because they come in a bunch of different colors. They're see-through. They feel kind of premium. And you can collect them. There are actually even exclusive ones that they only give out at certain events. Like, for instance, this is the Divine Attribute die, and it came from the 200th YCS. So if you go to a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh events, you can get your hands on some of these really rare ones, and they're nice to have. A quick shout out to Ultra Pro and their metal gravity dice that they make. They have this cool magnetic case that opens and closes. Really easy, satisfying snap. And these are metal dice, so they've got a little bit more weight on them. And they just feel nice and premium to roll. I get a lot of compliments on these when I use them in tournaments. So the next important thing you might want to bring to a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament are token cards. They've got a wide variety of these. Some have characters on them. Some come as like prizes or participation cards. Some work for different archetypes. This Karibo one came in the advent calendars back when that was a thing. And they're just really useful if you play a deck that actually uses tokens. For example, I play the Generator deck and Generator Boss Stage makes tokens every turn. So I actually went out and got myself some Generator tokens to use with the deck. So the next important thing is bringing a way to keep track of life points. I've always liked using pen and paper for this. I just bring these small notepads and I can organically keep track of my life points, my opponent's life points. But you can also use the official Yu-Gi-Oh! Neuron app. It's on iOS, it's on Android, it's really easy to subtract life points, and it does actually keep a log. It's even got some pretty useful tools, like you can, you know, use it to roll a die or flip a coin or even keep track of counters. These are both totally viable ways of keeping track of life points, but if you're at a larger tournament, I strongly recommend using pen and paper. Any number of things can malfunction with your phone and you can just lose track of everything. And that's something you do not want happening in the middle of a tournament. Whereas having it on pen and paper means that if there's ever a discrepancy, you will have a sort of written archive of all the life point changes. And this can really come in your favor when you need to settle it with like a judge call or something like that. One other quick thing to mention is that note taking is actually legal in Yu-Gi-Oh! in very specific isolated cases. So you can check the official tournament policy documents for the specifics, but you can keep track of mandatory game state things like hard once per turns or card effects that have to resolve in the end phase or during a next standby phase or things like that. The next important thing to bring would be water and snacks. 
I say this because most Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments don't actually have any sort of built-in lunch break. You might get lucky and find one, but usually you're kind of going to be on your own. And I think it's really important to stay hydrated and just kind of have something to snack on. Some people even like using bubble gum and that's fine, but I just definitely recommend having a thing or two because keeping yourself kind of focused is important and this will give you the energy that you need to do so. That said, make sure that it's not anything intrusive and obviously you can't eat snacks or drink water and stuff like that on the table. So this is something to really do more so between rounds. But yeah, definitely have something in your bag. Another important thing to bring is hand sanitizer. This is an absolute must for me. Yu-Gi-Oh events have a lot of people and you're gonna be shaking a lot of hands, touching a lot of cards. And I just think it's really important to keep yourself sanitized because you never know. Another important thing to have in a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament is trade binders. So these come in a bunch of different sizes. I really like these zip up ones that come from Ultimate Guard. I prefer to bring the small four pocket ones. This one right now is just filled up with Yu-Gi-Oh uh, speed duel cards that we used a while back. But I like these because at tournaments, like I said, I like to kind of keep my packing light. Trading doesn't really happen as much these days, so you can just bring a few small selections of trades, and this is usually all you'll need. But if you are planning on maybe doing some big high dollar trades or hitting up the vendors, then grabbing a larger size binder like this might be in your interests instead. These kind hold 12 cards. So yeah, either one works, but I prefer the smaller ones because remember if you bring this, you also got to bring a really big bag and that means bringing a lot of other stuff. So I also wanted to give a quick shout out to the official Yu-Gi-Oh merchandise made by Konami. They typically release these about twice a year for whatever the newest like TCG exclusive archetype or something is. But the reason I like these is because the 25th anniversary ones actually have Yu-Gi and Kaiba on them. So you've got like these Yugi and Kaiba sleeves. You've got this playmat, which is a full-size playmat. These typically have zones on them, although it looks like this one actually doesn't, but that's where the Karibo one from earlier came from. And they do have binders and deck boxes. Now, a bit of a fair warning about all this stuff. As cool as it looks, the deck boxes are, well, you get what you pay for. They kind of look cool, but they tend to be a little bit cheap. The binders will do, and uh, the sleeves, uh, I would recommend maybe using that double sleeving method to like kind of keep them protected because these don't always hold up that great over time. So yeah, that's everything to bring to a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to drop a like, share it with a Yu-Gi-Oh player who might need it, and let me down in the comments if I forgot anything or you have any other useful, helpful tips or tidbits. Shout out again to Ridge for sponsoring the video. See you guys in the next one. Past turn.